How am I only just realizing now how pointy my hood is? Look at it! It's so pointy! Is it that pointy when I'm off the horse? Yep. Huh. Weird. I have a very pointy hood. Anyway. <sighs> Fort Empire. Have I actually explored you, Fort Empire? You might have some Shadow Banish wine. I'll have a quick peek inside and see if any of it looks familiar. Patsy, you can just sort of chill over here for now. Enjoy the view, because it's quite a nice view, after all. Uh, right. Uh-oh. Okay. My danger senses were tingling there for a second, and now they're not. You know what? I could probably use these. Now I can... Aha. Yes. What have we got? A Durzog. Damn it. You need to be dead so that you don't come and eat my horse while I'm gone. Um... Oh, oh god. Ah, ow, ow, ow. Still help. And, um, um. No, 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 no. Oh, I'm not attacking. What I need is, uh, shield. That's what I need. Shield! You're quite quick, actually, aren't you? Phew. That was close. War Dirtog. Does that mean there's goblins around here? That's a goblin thing, isn't it? Goblins keep Dirtogs as pets. Hmm. That's Patsy, isn't it? That's what I'm seeing there. What do we have here? What the hell? Look at that. Just treasure just lying around like that for, for the taking. Won't say no to that. Oh, no, I won't. Begs the question, what else is inside? Is there anything else up here, actually? Well, we're... Explore it. No, not really, no. Ooh. There's a little thing over there. An alien thing. Not interested in that right now, though. What I'm interested in is what's inside here. Well, if I'd been here before, whatever that is, I'd probably... Actually, no, it wouldn't be dead. It wouldn't be dead, because usually I just sneak past everything. No, I've not been here before. All right. Um... What have we here? Imps. Lots of small creatures, by the looks of things. Alright then. I can sneak past small creatures, just as easily as large creatures, actually. Pack of wolves or something, is that what we got down here? More Durzogs, perhaps? Pack of wolves, yeah. Oh, yeah, wolves and Durzogs living together. Whatever next. Add a troll. It's a Hulk collect. There's a whole menagerie of creatures down here. Fascinating. Yeah. 
You know, for a bunch of canines, your sense of smell's not very good. Oh. Devouring rust poison, huh? Probably damage armor or weapons in it, or something like that. Hmm. Let's have a look. Devouring rust poison. Disintegrate armor and weapon, yes. Useful. Just squeeze through here. If it weren't for the fact that I'm after some Shadow Vanish wine, I probably wouldn't bother with this place. Just a bunch of animals. Granted, there there's a few old chests and stuff down here, but the nice thing about bandits is you can pickpocket them. now and yeah it's just more animals it's just more wild animals that have moved into this place interesting I wonder why there's so many animals down here <sighs> animals and ogres should watch out really it's a bit lighter down here than it looks when I've got the night eye going On second thoughts, it smells like animals down here. Animal poo. Not interested. Bye. Right. Patsy, we're leaving this place. I've decided that actually I don't want to go through there. Looking for Shadow Banish wine at all. So let's take these gauntlets off. They don't need them right now. They only serve to draw attention to oneself. Okay, so, um, right, all the way around here, and up the Silver Road, and then when we get to about that kink in the road there, we head east to Frostfire Glade, where we shall find the entrance to, um, well, the place where Garadan's tears may be found. That's the idea. Anyway, so, got lots of resist frost thingies. Because apparently there's like a burning, freezing, frosty air in there or something like that. So I might need to be quick about it. And there may also be some horror, horrific Ice Guardian too running around. And uh, there's a couple of legionaries around here somewhere who are going to be without their horses if they don't get back soon. Um... Those... Am I hallucinating sheep now? Oh, there's the... There's, there's, there's the, oh, the Legion Watch dudes. Give it up, wolf. I'm hallucinating sheep. Thank you, sirs. Hello? We've all agreed to let Diram be our spokesman. You'll find him in the inn if you look very carefully. Sir, are you aware that you are mostly transparent? You don't think the tea lady's putting some weird stuff in the tea these days? Because... Look, there's another... Excuse me! Talk to Durham in the inn. I'm tired of this minstrel's freak show our town has turned into. 
Okay, right, good. I'm glad you said that, because I was honestly beginning to wonder if I was going completely insane. Uh, no, okay, so you really are just all mostly invisible for some reason. Excuse me, we have a small problem that we hope you can help us with. You may be wondering why you can't see me. We are all wondering the same thing. Well, I can see you a little bit, but I mean, I, I, what happened? Everyone in Aylesworld suddenly became invisible several weeks ago. It was sort of fun at first, but the novelty has definitely worn off now. You can imagine how difficult it is to run an inn while invisible. Once you get a reputation as a haunted inn, you can just forget about it. So we've all been keeping quiet. Hoping the spell will wear off, but we're running out of patience. We're sure it was Ankatar's doing, but we can't find him. If you can help us, we will be extremely grateful. Who's Ankatar? He's a wizard who took up residence in the ruins of Fort Caractacus a couple of years ago. He's caused us no end of trouble with his magical experiments, but nothing as bad as this. We've tried to find him, but had no luck. If he's still living in the fort, he's hiding from us, and no wonder. If you could find him and get him to remove this cursed invisibility, we will all be in your debt. It better be a significant debt, because I don't like going out of my way to annoy wizards. Like you lot so clearly have. Tell me more about him. We're pretty sure he's still hiding out in Fort Caractacus. Although he never answers when we've tried to find him. Where's Fort Caractacus? It's just to the southeast of here. Follow the path down the hill. But watch out for the invisible monsters that infest the ruins. Oh good, invisible monsters. Uh Goodbye. <sighs> I mean if there's a reward. Still wondering why I can partially see you lot when you're supposed to be invisible. Maybe it's because I'm just that good at stealth that I can see invisible people. I don't know, Patsy. So where's this fort then? Ah, I guess it's that one, right? Is there a path leading down there? Or are we going to be skipping along? And by by skipping along, I mean nearly flying off the end of the hill. Because uh, that is how physics works in this universe. You know what? If there's invisible things... Patsy, how about you just stay up here? I will go the rest of the way. And also, luckily I have a counter to invisible things, or mostly invisible things. It's called the Beveled Gauntlets. Aha. Is he just yelling incoherently in general, or can he actually sense my presence? There's a dead bear. What is it you want from me? Um, a bit about the invisibility spell. Yes, I have been working on a new invisibility spell. As you can see, it works quite well. Why? Well, two things. One, it, um, it only seems to work about 90% well. And also, um, you've turned an entire town invisible. 
and they're not very happy about it. Oh, really? Everyone in town? That must have been what all the shouting was about a few weeks ago. I'm afraid I was engrossed in an experiment that required my full attention. You see, in order to increase the efficacy of the spell, the radius was likely to approach the... Oh, never mind, I don't mean to bore you. Just tell me how to reverse it. You can tell them not to worry. The effect is not actually permanent. It should wear off eventually. Eventually? How long is eventually? Well, in a year or two. Maybe a bit more. There's no way to be absolutely sure. That's the exciting thing about basic research. This is why everyone hates wizards. Really? I find being invisible quite refreshing. But, if it will get everyone to leave me alone, fine. I did work out a counterspell last week. If I can just put my hand to it. Ah. Here, stand in the center of town to make sure you get everyone. Oh, and make sure... Never mind, it should be fine. What? Tell me more about this spell. I am sorry about that. Just use the reverse invisibility scroll I gave you. I was just thinking, because in my... <clears throat> um... Line of work, shall we say? Uh, it could could actually be quite useful. But anyway, um, yeah, about the reverse invisi invisi invisibility spell. Please forgive my inability to form perfectly ordinary words today. I've already given you the scroll. Okay, calm down. Go bother someone else. Don't have anything worth nicking, do you? Eh, boring wizard stuff. All right. Um, so you just live up here, then? You don't live down inside the actual fort dungeon itself? I mean, fair enough, I suppose. I don't think I'd want to live down there any my, my, myself anyway, would I? Not like those crazy monks. All right. Um, oh, is this a path leading back up? Well, even if it is, my horse is over here. I really expected to have to go through an in I was I was expecting to have to sneak through an entire dungeon full of invisible monsters to get to him at the end and then probably have to kill him or something. Consider my expectations thoroughly subverted. Um And honestly I'm quite pleased. Where the hell is Patsy? Uh there you are. Come on, Patsy. Let's go um, sort out this, this village. So we need to stand in the middle of town. So I get everyone. Does this include the sheep? Okay. Here I am, stood in the middle of town. I've used the scroll Ankatar gave me, and the people of Aleswell are once again visible. Durham Serethi would probably like to congratulate me on my success. My luck has been dead. What? Fantastic. I have no... I now have no luck. Didn't need a stupid spell to tell me that, though, to be fair. Thank you. Thank you. I can't tell you how good it feels to be able to see myself again. My sisters, on the other hand. I wouldn't mind if they had stayed invisible. <laughs> ah, me. Friend, 
you are welcome at the Aleswell Inn anytime. Free of charge. Hmm. Well, that's good, I suppose. Um... We haven't seen him since that whole invisibility mess. I hope it stays that way. Okay. Farewell. Hi there. The Colonial Highlands. Don't need that anymore. Near the Hammerfell border. Uh. I need to fix my luck. It's a bit of a problem. Can't. See, I can't just visit a, a shrine in a, in a church because the gods don't like me very much. This is an issue. How do I make a restore luck potion? Uh, have I just effectively been cursed? I think I'm going to go try and have a word with this wizard. Ankatar, where are you? You've cursed me. There you are. Go on. I'm glad to hear that the villagers aren't invisible anymore. It will make it easier for me to avoid them. That's not the... I'm glad you were able to help them. I would have done it myself, but I like being invisible. Besides, I don't know if they'd have been happy to see me. I wish to knock over you. There we go. You stupid wizard! You've cursed me now and you won't even fix it. I hate wizards. I hate wizards. Next time someone tells me to do anything that even remotely involves a wizard, remind yourself to say no next time, Arthur. All right, so round about here-ish. Oh, that's a bandit. This is where I need to turn off the path. Head east in this direction here. This is some extremely mountainous terrain, apparently. Yeah, this way. And we're going to go fetch Garadan's Tears. Hopefully a task that will not prove completely impossible on account of... Oh, look at that. Someone put a big brick over the door. Probably for a good reason now that I think about it. Anyway, hopefully this task will not prove too difficult for someone who now has zero luck. Someone running around down there. Not my concern. I'm going this way. Come on, Patsy, you can do it. You're a very nimble horse. Oh, no. What wants to kill me now? Oh, God! Spriggans! And bears! Leave me alone. I want nothing to do... See, this is the problem with having no luck. I immediately run into two Spriggans with two bears. And another bear. Look at that. Come on, Patsy. Come on. Come on. That's it. You can do it. You can do it. All right, we're going the wrong way. We need to go this way. And a pack of wolves. Yeah. Um, I don't think I like having no luck. Being cursed sucks. I do not recommend it. Uh, right, I think we're nearly here. It's around here somewhere. Leave me alone! I'm just a poor luckless traveller. I want- Oh no, don't die, Patsy. I'm the one with the zero luck, not you. Frostfire Glade. I think I found it. Fortunately, it's guarded by an entire pack of wolves. Because of course it is. No! Please don't die. Where's my... I can't see anything in all this grass.
Yeah, you run away. What? Yeah, you're not eating my horse for lunch while I'm inside. That is not happening. That arrow went straight through him. It was a dead certain hit and it missed. <sighs> Zero luck. All right. Uh, looks like we have more residents. I should be really careful. To be honest. How easy would it be for a man with zero luck to get a bunch of rocks fall on his head and kill him? Let's see. So far, so good. What have we here? Ooh. This looks like what I'm after. Um. Okay. Uh. Okay. Bad. Doggies. Bad. Where's my shield? Ha! Poison, 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 poison. Poison! Poison! Okay, there we go. Oh, of course you're all tundra wolves, so your so your your meat is worthless to me. I hate being cursed. It's the worst. I've arrived at the entrance to the Frostfire Glade, like the book describes. The refined frost salts are in my hand. All I, all I must do is open the seal by touching it. I've entered Frostfire Glade. The entire area seems filled with a swirling, freezing mist. The extreme cold in this place is unbearable without magical protection. The glade is true to its namesake. The frost burns as if it was fire. I should now carefully begin searching it for Garrett's tears. Ow. All right. Uh, so I brought these for a reason. I can't drink any more potions right now. Oh, it's because of the stupid shield. Alright, just keep an eye on your health. And you know what? I am going to keep sneaking because I don't know what's around here. Could be a massive evil ice guardian. Ow. Yeah, ow. Oh, yeah, speak of, the, speak of the devil. Um, right. Bow of fire. Do I have, I have, do I have some flaming arrows or something? Yes, I do. This is not doing an awful lot. I can't help but notice. Die. Melt, you stupid ice cube. Oh, thank you. Wait, you're not dead, are you? Now you're dead. 
thanks for the frost salts. Love that bag. Okay. Let's restore health. And feather, apparently. Whoops. Um, and... Where's the potion of warmth? Potion of warmth? Frost shield. Alright. Now, let's see if we can... Aha! Garadin's tear. I found one of Garadin's tears. I should continue searching, as there may be more. I suppose one won't be good enough. Needle in a haystack much. Ooh. What I would give for a detect Garadin's tear spell. It's all going to be down here, is it? I reckon. Oh, hello. I suppose... Oh. There he is. That's the man himself, Garadin, with the, uh, with the original Guardian. That's right after he smashed the vial. The, or the Ewer, wasn't it? The Everflow Ewer. Well then. Um I haven't found all of them yet, have I? Garden's tears. Hello. Where are you? Ha! I found the fifth and final one of Garadin's tears. Perhaps now I can return to Sudrasa and lay a win for my hard-earned reward and perhaps a warm fire. Yes! How do I get out of here? This way. My homing pigeon-like sense of direction is telling me to go back this way. Okay, here we are. Phew. Well... Quite a pretty little place if it weren't for the fact that it's, you know, evil. Look at all these crazy markings as well. I've never seen anything like this before. I wonder what or who the ma made this place originally. All right. I don't believe I killed all of the wolves, did I? So let's go and sneak pa back past the rest because I am not interested in fighting them. They wouldn't kill me, it would just be very tedious. Squeeze past, there we go. Here we are, finally. Oh, happy day. Nice view. You alright there, Patsy? No more wolves come and try and eat you. Good. Uh, so, back to Leowin for the reward, I guess. Quite a long trip, you know. Maybe we'll stop in Aleswell, let you rest, Patsy. That seems like a grand idea. You know, assuming we can get out of this forest alive, I mean. Well, 
I am very happy to report that I did indeed. Why do you bother me? Go away. Is that how you speak to your savior? Look at the look at look at that stare. You remind me of my homeland during the blight. Excuse me, I don't have time for you right now. Or ever. I see what you meant about your if sisters. Well, Patsy, let us go as far away from those two as possible. So we're going all the way to Leowin. That's a bit of a journey, to say the least. On the bright side, we can see our old pal Mazoga. Well met. I'm glad you're a little bit more appreciative, mate. Thank you. Yeah, um, might be about to check it down with rain. But Mazoga's in the old White Stallion Lodge, which is like halfway down there, so... I'm pretty sure we could show our face in Leowin again as well. It's been a... It's been quite some time, shall we say, since the, um... Previous... Whoa. I mean... I don't want to just leave it lying around. Anyone could come along and take it. Yeah, I see you over there, Mr. Ice Demon. I've had quite enough of you for one lifetime. You and your ilk. Yeah, and I see that wizard lurking around there too. Gonna leave them well alone. And that is the dark, evil, haunted forest. Also want to leave that well alone. Well, okay, Mr. Dozog. Um, I wish you luck in your endeavors. As long as your endeavors don't involve me. What's that smell? Why, yes, it's Breville. Hello, Breville. Goodbye, Breville. Is that a bog ogre? All I know is he's an ogre and he's green. I'm sure you two will be fine. Keep, keep it up. I think he's on his last legs. You'll die any minute now, it's fine. Here we are. The White Stallion Lodge. Right, Patsy, you just uh, chill here. I'm going to pop inside, see if old Mazoga's around. The uh, slightly inclement weather seems to have followed me south. Unfortunately. I forgot how noisy this part of the world is, and also how humid. Last time I came down here, I wasn't wearing leather. Right. Anyone home? Oh, she's asleep. It's... Bit of a lion, I see. I suppose could do with a tidy up. Well, I suppose I'm not one to talk, really, am I? Boar meat. Don't mind if I do. Um, well, I'm not particularly sleepy myself, so... Maybe I'll just leave a note. We'll see if she's awake by the time I head back up this way. Um, right. They, uh, I think they finally killed it. Don't mind if I do. Yeah, it was a bog ogre. I was right. 
Okay, I don't see where the other guard is. She might be dead. She knew the risks. Ah, Leowin. The city in the swamp. And yet somehow, still not as smelly as Breville. Not going to pretend I understand it. But I was just... I get, like, close the gate behind you and what have you, but... I was just about to come back out. It's just rude, frankly. Right, he's at the Mage's Guild, isn't he? Sudrasa. Yes, it's Mage's Guild. He was the enchanter person there, I think. Okay. Whoa. Something in the air, because everything feels a little bit wrong for some reason. Would it kill someone to just trim the verge once in a while around here? Here we go. Ah! Speak of the devil. Wait, no, you're someone else. Apologies! I don't want to say that all Khajiit look the same, but that's a funny looking robe you've got there. Did someone just punch a piece of furniture? Be seeing you. Salutations. Hello. Sadrasa. I am. How do you do? You look like you've seen some travel. Yeah, you could say that. Um I uh, found Garadin's tears. You found five of the tears? Fantastic. This turned out better than I expected. Perhaps a little bit of a bonus is in order. I like the sound of that. 1,600 gold. I will not say no to that. Thank you very much, Sadrasa. It's been a pleasure doing business with you. They're the pride of my collection. The tears look beautiful in my collection. A thousand thanks once again. You're quite welcome. 1,600 gold. Not bad. So, Jurassic, can I just point out, mate, you're the first person in a long time who's actually paid me properly. I appreciate it, my good man. You need me to find any more crazy, weird-ass crystals again? You just... Yeah. That's why I'm so good at what I do. Anyway, any more funky crystals, you, you let me know, mate. Nope, not with you. Right. What's the time? I could probably make it at least to Breville before I have to stop for the night. And if I'm lucky, maybe to the end of Ill Omen. Or if I'm even luckier, I could make it to, uh... Make it to, uh... Not Ellswell. What's it called? Pell's Gate. That's the one. I'm not sticking around here. Hmm... But well, it's worth a try. Good afternoon. Um, praise be to the nine divines. Please cure my horrible curse. <sighs> That's what I thought. Yes. Never mind. Sorry to bother you. Thought you were part of the staff. I'm Avras Adas. I'm the priest of Zenithar at the Leowin Chapel. Hi. Yeah, you don't sell any potions and... May I interest you in some of my fine wares? Stuff. Do, do you, no. No. Okay. Cool. Uh, better make polite conversation. Any rumors? Count Leowin placed a bounty on the heads of the surviving Black Bow Bandits. Deadly indeed. I used to be a priest of the Tribunal Temple in Craigenmoor. After the collapse, I drifted for a while until I joined the chapel. The Beggars and the Wicked Thieves Guild still trouble me. I wish the Nine Divines offered charity and comfort to the poor, like the Temple did. Hmm. Be seeing you. Speaking as a formerly poor person, uh, 
Yeah, not much charity to be found from you lot. It's all repent your crimes, wicked one. So I'm sorry. Being poor sometimes involves committing a few crimes. What more do you want from me? Huh. Gods. Who needs them? Right. It, she's still asleep. Oi! Wakey, wakey. Any idea what time it is? Whoa. I'm going to spend some time at the lodge. Then maybe tonight I might go hunt me some black bows. You don't have to throw your shield at me. I only woke you up. That was just downright rude. Actually, that's not... That's my shield to throw at me. I forgot I have a, a shield. Might as well take it with me. Um, I forget sometimes that... Uh, technically... I am Sir Arthur. I am a knight. I'm sure I've got the paperwork around here somewhere. I'm a knight of the White Stallion. I am Sir Arthur. I even have a noble steed. Yeah, some knight I am. <laughs> knight of the post, as they say, perhaps. <laughs> you know, it's times like this I start to think maybe we should have a cull. Well, you know, if you want something doing, do it yourself. Well, you know, it's venison. I've actually used quite a lot of health potions recently, so I could do with restocking. Hmm. No plant ingredient this unusual must have value. Perhaps I should bring it to an alchemist and find out a little more about it. An alchemist can be found in almost a yeah, yeah. Almost every city in Cyrodiil. Worth pointing out that um, there isn't one in Leowin. Not that I'm aware of, anyway. Right. I now ride Sir Arthur. Sir Arthur of Daggerfall, Order of the Light Stallion, Breaker of Chains and Reliever of Valuable Crockery. <laughs> yeah, that's me. Yeah, skedaddle. Hunter of Deer. Um... What was that? If that was a Will of the Wisp. Let's, uh... Ignore it of Will of the Wisps. Rider of horses. Owner of bank accounts. Yeah, I'm, I'm definitely not a Sir Garadin, am I? But then, unlike Sir Garadin, I'm not an ice statue in the middle of a Frostfire Glade for doing something so idiotically selfless. So, on the whole, I think I can deal with it. Well, to my left lies Coral, a town in which I ought not to show my face too much, but also where the Grey Fox is waiting. To my right lies the Imperial City and my nice warm bed. About five o'clock in the evening. I've made my decision. 